Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some defensive plays for you today. I haven't put out a defense in a while. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on run defense because that's still one of the hardest things to stop in Madden 20. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit different in Madden 21. But for right now, run defense is paramount. So what I'm going to focus on today is the 5-2 formation. Uh, which is, you know, if you're going against somebody running a lot of heavy sets, you want to a lot of times match heavy sets back. So to me, the 5-2 is definitely one of the better formations to go. And in this scenario, you typically have three defensive tackles in the middle. So if you have the personnel for that, it's going to be helpful. Uh, and then on the outside, obviously, you have your defensive end slash outside linebackers uh, that maintain the edge. So, like I said, three defensive tackles is going to be very helpful, especially when it comes to stopping inside runs. That's what the first play is going to be aimed at. The first play I'm going to show is pretty basic. It's just a cover three, but you can see, I mean, it's, it's five guys coming on a cover three. So, like I said, this is not necessarily the best pass coverage. If you have somebody that's really pounding the ball, this is going to be something that you want to pick. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick that. I'm going to pick cover three. Not a whole lot of setup when it comes to a play like this. Um, more particularly, I mean, really all I really want to do, I want to spread my defensive line typically. Uh, because a lot of people are going to try to hit you with stretches and stuff like that. Um, if, if The next play I'm going to show you is more stretch specific. But ultimately, I mean, stretches is one of the most favorite things that people are going to run. So you have to account for that. So I typically spread my line just because I want to make sure that these outside guys have edge control if that happens. So the next thing I want to do to make sure that they guarantee, the guarantee they maintain the edge is I want to QB contain. Because what that's typically going to do is it's going to make sure that these guys, they maintain the outside shoulder of the the guys in front of him even this guy here i mean the, the tight end is wider than he is but he should have a much better chance of maintaining the outside edge with a qb contain and then when it comes to the inside you can see i have a third a, a safety in the box which is one of the reasons that the cover three I, is something that I like so much. This is a little bit better of an inside run defense than the next play I'm going to show you. But you can see just because this safety, if I were to, you know, set this up like normal, if I were to set this up, uh, this is what a, a normal cover three typically would look like. I'm going to want this guy down in the box either way. So, like I said, now it looks like I have basically uh, what I would say is like a 5-3 rather than a 5-2. So, this is really stacking the box. So, you know, I typically want these guys out a little bit far too. Like, I have a lot of faith in myself as a user. This is going to be my spot right here. And then I also want to make sure that I put these guys on an underneath, which is essentially a hard flat. So, what they're going to do is they're going to play down at this angle and basically try to cut off any outside runs. So, like I said, I have no idea. I've hit random runs. I have no idea what the computer is going to do. But this is how I typically want to set this up. We can go, we're going to have this guy back where he was. Uh, but this is going to be the look. Like I said, it's a real stacked box look. And we have a real spread look all at the same time. Now, I don't know. After all that talk, he did a QB sneak. Uh, but it is what it is. But like I said, that's essentially the look. So, like I said, I hit random run. Here's a scenario. I mean, he, they're going to spread him out like this. I still say bringing him in is the way to go, especially when it look like this. The only run this can be, really, uh, is going to be an inside zone. People aren't going to run this in any other way. So, like I said, keep that guy, you know, this is pretty much set up. Keep that guy outside. Those guys will shoot outside. There's going to be a lot of control outside. Uh, and if you have an inside run, I mean, they should still be there for that as well. So, like I said, we get a counter run, uh, which obviously gets shut down. You can see that gets sniffed out. <coughs> So like I said, whether, you know, if, if, they, if there's a possibility that they're going to pass, you guys you probably want to leave these guys out where they are um, because they have to maintain, uh, you know, they have to, like, if it's a quick pass, like say, you know, Edelman would probably be open to the flat right there real quick uh, if, if it's a pass play. But like I said, this is something if your opponent's relentlessly pounding the ball, which a lot of people do in Madden, um, that's a very, uh, you know, possible scenario. So here's another one where it probably can only be an inside zone. This looks like an inside, like a stretch run, a little bit of an outside zone. And this plays real simple setup. I mean, like I said, all I'm doing is spraying the line, a QB containing, that's D-pad left and up, and then left bumper, right bumper. And then I'm just, you know, like I said, to hard flats, wire triangle down on the right stick. So real simple, real quick. This play could probably go anywhere. I'm going to guess this is a stretch. Uh, I mean, that just makes the most sense considering we have two tight end. But, um, you know, and then definitely we get, a, we get a halfback crack toss. And then, like I said, there's nowhere to go. So to me, this the, the cover three is a little bit of a better inside defense because of the, essentially what's a three linebacker look. You got five spread defensive linemen and a three linebacker uh, look behind it. Uh, but a little bit of a better outside run defense and something that I would recommend using if you're seeing somebody running a lot of stretch plays would be the fire zone too. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. So if you have somebody running a lot of uh, plays to the outside, 
Um, this is going to be something that uh, can be a little bit better. I just picked random outside handoff. Uh, but typically, you're going to want your, your, your linebackers in kind of the same way, kind of just splitting um, to the edge. Uh, spread the defensive line, uh, keep it contained them one more time. And then where you can really kick it up a notch is with the cornerbacks. So typically, if you press the cornerbacks, um, you know, that can get, that can be a little problematic when it comes to pass plays. People that are in the know know that you can basically just put a, a receiver on a streak against a press cornerback in a cover two, and sometimes even in a cover three, and have success. So pressing can be problematic, because if somebody's running the ball relentlessly, it's not the worst thing to do. It's something that you can get away with. And then you can also hard flat so that they'll have, uh, you know, they'll play the run a lot better in hard flats too. They'll, if pressing and hard flatting, they'll get engaged with their blockers much faster and they'll uh, they'll basically shed it a lot quicker to the uh, to the backfield. So like I said, we'll see what happens here because like I said, this is not. I was expecting like uh, stretch runs and stuff like that, and this is this is what they gave me. But you can see, cornerback makes the play right there. You know, what I mean, he's Johnny on the spot in the zone. I'll go to a replay real quick just to see because you can't really see what the cornerback's doing. But like I said, based off the fact that he's down uh, in the receiver's face, he just immediately works for the inside run. Um, so, like I said, he engages faster than if he was a cover three, he'd be back here dropping back and there'd be no help. Uh, but since he's down pressing in, in, in that hard flight, he immediately essentially plays that area. So here's a more traditional look of what you'll see uh, when you see, when I, when I talk about, um, you know, this is a stretch. Oops, I <laughs> didn't even get the setup in, but you can see, like I said, the, the play was there. The cornerback still maintained the edge. You got a couple yards. But ultimately, I mean, you can see, there, it looks like they're running the exact same play now. Uh, but you can see, like, I didn't even get the press in. I didn't even get the hard flat in. But you can see when I do, like, right now, it's a seven-man front because these cornerbacks are so far to the line. And this is not something you can't really press off of something like this anyway. Or you can't really streak and have success with something like that anyway. And then you can see, once again, I mean, I, I'm free to roam. There was nothing in my way. Nothing really getting in my way, which is gonna, which is going to definitely help, too. So let's, go, let's run this one more time. Like I said, pressing and, and, and hard flatting is really up to you. Like I said, a lot of times, uh, somebody if somebody's mixing it up well enough, might not be the best idea as we get a, a counter run here. So we're going to go. We're going to end the vid there. If you guys want to see more defense uh, out of this playbook or just more defense in general, let me know in the comment section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.